Hello everyone, welcome again to our channel. The video today is to talk about CP, CPK, PP and PPK. So here to perform this kind of analysis I have a very simple data table. There is one single column with 36 rows. All the information that I have here is what I need to perform this kind of analysis because it could be some critical to quality or critical to safety uh, dimension characteristics of my product. This is what I need to analyze. Okay, so there are at least three different ways to perform a CPK analysis in Jump. I, I will show you the first one Okay, the first one is inside of the quality and process because a lot of people think that okay, I have to analyze the capability of my process, so analyze quality and process, process capability. But this is not uh, much recommended for those situations where you have only one. Uh, response variable because this is a very nice platform to work with multiple Ys, multiple response variables. I will run here the analysis but I strongly recommend you to use this platform when you have a lot of different uh, variable uh, response variable. I will uh, record another video for you guys with uh, like 10 or 8 a response variable and you will see uh, how nice is this platform for this kind of situation but here we have only uh, one response variable the lower specification limit is 99 the upper specification limit is 99.2 so let's go uh, as you can see here the first uh, plot is a goal plot the second one is a capability capability box plots and the third one, uh, standard show, shown here, is capability index plot. So this is very different from what we need because we are very used to uh, have this kind of class during Six Sigma trainings, for example, but we are not used to, to deal with this kind of situation. So let's uh, let it uh, for another video. The second place in Jump where you can perform uh, capability uh, analysis is if you set up your uh, spec limits in your data, in your, your column, in your response variable. For example, right click here in this column, column properties, and I will set this in jump here spec limits I'm gonna put here 99 99.2 and show as graph reference lines so now jump is understanding that this column has spec limits if I run a control chart an IMR control chart it will appear automatically look I just performed, I just performed here uh, IMR control chart. I have the upper and lower specification limit here. And here is a plus. So the plus here in this analysis is the process capability analysis. So if you are used to, have, to use or analyze the control charts, you can have the process capability here. The risk is uh, Jump is considering this as a normal distribution, okay? I will also record another video to talk about non-normal distributions where we can see this in Jump, okay? So don't forget to subscribe in this channel to don't uh, lose uh, the, the, this video. So let's take off this information from here. Uh, let's suppose that you had no idea that it uh, existed. So now the best place for me 
I always teach my students uh, how to use the process capability, capability here inside of the analyze distribution. When we are uh, analyzing the distribution of our data, we have a lot of different options to analyze our data here. And one of them in this uh, red bottom here is the process capability itself. So let's choose this one. This is for me the best way to analyze and uh, uh, and you will have uh, no risk, I would say, because it's the same place where you analyze if your data is normal or non-normal distributed. So here, lower and upper, okay. And now I have the process capability analysis for Y1, okay. So here you will have the CPK, CPL, CPU, CP, PPK, PPL, PPU, PP, and a little table here about the non-conformances. And here, something very useful is if you work in a company that all the index are in PPM, you can change this. So right click here, columns, expected within PPM, expected overall PPM, okay? If you want to take off the percentage, you can just take off clicking here, okay, guys? So this is how I teach how to perform the CPK and PPK. Of course, all the explanation, all the class, the theory, Behind this, uh, we would have to have some hours of training to let this very, very clear, okay? So I hope you really enjoy this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.